Woot Weghorst. But that's not even a real name. Woot Weghorst. You belong on a Harry Potter film. Also known as Valt Weghorst, uh, is going to sign for Manchester United today per Fabrizio Romano and is currently on his way to the Carrington training ground. So who is Valt Weghorst and how can he impact Manchester United's season this campaign? Hello and welcome back to the Astonish channel. Uh, I hope you are all doing very well on this Thursday afternoon. And today we're going to be discussing the signing of Wout Weghorst for Manchester United uh, from Burnley. I believe it's on a six-month loan uh, after he spent the initial start of this season at Besiktas. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're saying getting ever closer to 500 subs now, uh, so please make sure you do hit that. And uh, yeah, I uh, really appreciate all the support recently. Wout Weghorst is a 30-year-old international Dutch forward who made his name playing for AZ Alkmaar in the Eredivisie before getting a move to VfL Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. In 118 league matches for Wolfsburg, Weghorst scored 59 goals, earning him a move to the Premier League with Burnley last January. It was widely thought, including by myself, that Wout Weghorst would keep Burnley in the Premier League with his incredible goal-scoring ability. Unfortunately, though, the Clarets would go down, with Weghorst subsequently going on loan to Besiktas to ensure that his wages were kept off the bill at Turf Moor. So where did Manchester United come into this? Well, let's not talk about the absolute drama that has unfolded at Old Trafford this season. Whilst Anthony Martial has regained some form, it's all come down to the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo as the reason why Wout Weghorst is going to make the move there. Ronaldo, of course, kicked up a fuss in his interview with Piers Morgan, ensuring that his contract was terminated after breaching terms uh, of the deal and has joined Al Nazar on an incredible financial deal. Weghorst is now here and is currently flying to United. So what can he offer them? So what about Weghorst's strengths? Well, he has attributes to his game that can make him a very useful player in big moments for Manchester United. He's someone who can bring off the bench at six foot five to provide a, a serious aerial threat in both penalty boxes. He can also bring others into play as he's a very impressive link-up player with really fantastic hold-up play. But that genuinely isn't really a surprise due to his strength and his height. He's also a really hard worker up front, and I think that's something that Cristiano Ronaldo lacked towards the latter end of his United spell. It's something that Anthony Martial has really worked on as well, and I think it's a real big attribute of an Eric Ten Hag striker. If you think of when Ten Hag was at his peak with Ajax, he had Dusan Tadic in that false nine role in the Champions League, but in the Eredivisie, he had the hard-working but hard-scoring Klaas Jan Huntelaar, who played in that number nine, as well as Sebastian Allaire. Weghorst's incredible goal-scoring record is something not to be sneered at. He scored 70 times in 144 matches overall for VfL Wolfsburg and 45 times in 86 for AZ Alkmaar. This shows that a, a goal, an average of a goal every other game will certainly help Manchester United when they are struggling. He's even scored eight times in 16 games for Besiktas this season. However, let's have a look at what, some of Weghorst's weaknesses and somewhere where United may have been put off signing him. Weghorst is not the quickest, and a Ten Hag striker doesn't usually have to be, but it's certainly a boost. You've seen the likes of Marcus Rashford get in behind recently, Anthony as well, uh, playing off the number nine. And Weghorst, although he's not the quickest, also doesn't win enough of his ground duels. I think, I think the one biggest weakness that Weghorst has is that United would have to play for him. He is a striker that needs a system to play around him. And I'm, I'm unsure that whether... They have the capability to do that, and he has the capabilities to play outside of that, um, unless he's only going to be used from the bench. Ten Hag side are in great form and have won eight games in a row, but in some of those, and in games previous, they have struggled to break down teams uh, with two banks of four. This is where Verkhorst will come in. Um, they try and play this beautiful football, but sometimes you just need to play ugly, and having to play like Vuk Verkhorst, much like when they uh, had Zlatan Ibrahimovic up front, uh, can really be an aid for United. And I think you'll get regular game time as well. Um, Martial's injury record is strange. And I think Marcus Rashford's absolutely flourishing from the left-hand side would mean that he would stay out there. Meaning that Vekos would be the first choice number nine when Martial is out. He certainly has the capability to change games. He helped Netherlands back into the game against Argentina in the quarter-final of the World Cup with two goals in the latter 10 minutes. So he's still got a lot to offer. And the fact he's got the experience to offer too... I really, like this. I really like the signing and it's a good, cheap option on a six-month loan. 
So overall, what do I think of this signing? Not many people wanted United to sign Veghorst, and I, don't, and I don't think he's the most fashionable name that they could have got. But if you look to the logic of it, I really, really like the deal. Just comparing it to another loan signing that's going to happen this month. Joao Felix cost 13 million euros for Chelsea to get him in on a loan deal for six months. Now, Veghorst will definitely not cost that much money. Uh, he's a very cheap, cost-effective option, and I think it'd be very effective, especially in the UEFA Europa League, uh, when they take on Barcelona and may potentially need a goal from the big man. So he may not have a real name and he may sound like a Harry Potter character, but Val Veghorst, I think, will be an exceptional signing in the end for Manchester United in terms of value for money, in terms of the op in terms of the option that he gives them. So who else could have Manchester United gone for? I don't think there was particularly many options. There, ne there never really is in January. Sasha Kolajic of Stuttgart, but he obviously went to Wolves and did his ACL in, which uh, was quite a bad one. Mikel Antonio has also become available. Um, West Ham United looking to sell him, but I think Veghorst is a level above those two and will continue uh, to evolve his game, I think, beyond at Manchester United. I think he could genuinely improve and become a very good squad player for Eric Ten Hag. But the last thing we're going to do before we finish is have a look at the all-important football reference profile. In his 1,630 minutes, he hasn't enjoyed the greatest time for goal scoring. And of course, these don't count Turkish league stats. But this is what really impresses me about his FB ref profile, his defensive outlet. Uh, 85th for aerials one, eight, 85th for blocks per 90, 92nd for interceptions and 86th for tackles. Everything else isn't great, uh, but Vekos clearly has the potential to score goals in a much better team than he has been in uh, at Burnley and then Besiktas. He'll have chances put on a plate for him. I think he's just going to really, really succeed. A bit like Igalo did, um, but to another level, I think. I think he genuinely could score at least, 15, at least 10 to 15 goals before the end of the season. I could be wrong, I could be right, but make sure you hit that subscribe button anyway. Get us to 500. Uh, I will catch you later on where I'll be doing a watch-along of Fulham versus Chelsea, so make sure to catch me then. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.